In this video, I ask a question. Why were the strip lights dimmer on the 288? Talk about a cable. So this is the cable in question. And state the obvious, that's not 12 volts. It's Da Vinci time. In answer to more of your questions and a key frustration of yours being the 12 volt cigarette lighter output in the fact that it's not regulated, I want to share a workaround I've found. So one thing I noticed whilst filming the video currently being suggested in the top corner was why were the strip lights dimmer on the 288 versus the 372? So I let the charge drop on both units and then I checked the voltages at both the cigarette lighter sockets and the DC outputs and it wasn't what I was expecting. So I bought a cable and this is what I found. So this is the cable in question, which is a DC5521 to cigarette lighter output here. And as in the other videos I've covered, you just need to change this to a DC5525. So that then fits into the 12 volt output here on the 372. So it's as I was expecting with the 288 in the fact that the 12 volt cigarette lighter output voltage matched that of the 12 volt DC output. So I'll just show you what I mean. So that was 11.3 on screen. So if we plug that in now, so the DC output, and again, it matches up at 11.3. So the 12 volt from the 288 is exactly the same from whatever port you use. Right, so let's see what we get with 60% uh, charge in the uh, battery. So I'm hoping that's visible on screen now. So we've got 60% there. So let's see what we get on the cigarette lighter output. So for a 12 volt output, that's not 12 volts. So let's have a look to see what we get hooking it up using the other 12 volt output. That's 60% we have 12.3, so 12.2 volts. Okay, battery is now at 2%, so I'm hoping that's visible on screen there. So effectively empty. So let's see what we get on the cigarette lighter output. So as you can see, we've got 10.2, so we've got the usual knocking the 0.1 or so off of that. So just over 10 volts at the cigarette lighter output. So let's connect up the uh, extender for the 12 volt and then plug that into one of the two 12 volt sockets. And there we have it. Even at 2%, we've got 12.3 volts showing, so 12.2 available. So even after owning the 372 for over nine months now, it's great to finally find a way to get a regulated 12 volt cigarette lighter output, even if it is at five amps per port. We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need to be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to Dad Vinci. <laughs>